Welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. I was kind of messing around with things, took some suggestions from a viewer, Kim or Kaim. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but thank you for watching and thanks for the tips. What I incorporated was on the rear wheels, 10 degrees of steering, on the front, 20 degrees of steering, and I just took his advice a little bit and just instead of using rotors, I just stuck one right in the floor and connected it, connected it directly to it. Now, what I've got is I've got the cockpit, hydrogen engine, O2H2 generator. Did I say that correctly? O2H2, yep. Two medium cargo containers, an ore detector, an antenna, in case it gets lost. Oh, and the battery. It's fully charged. The engine is filled with uh, hydrogen and everything else is filled with ice. And I put some up in the cockpit. The cockpit is not directly connected to everything else. But the engine, the generator, and the two storage containers are all hooked up together. On this test, I'm heading out there where that RVM, RVBM uh, designation was. Does it show up here? Uh, no, it hasn't. Okay, but it's about 10 kilometers that way. So I'm going to see how far I can get on this thing fully loaded with ice. And we'll see what happens. Get in here. Oh, got to turn that off to from recharge. We will disconnect. Start up the hydrogen engine. And away we go. You know what? There we go. How about that? Oh, let me put the suspension up. Oh, parking brake. Uh, control panel, suspension. I had to lower it so I can connect to the station. And hit offset. There we go. Let's go to the max. All right. Oh, parking brake off. I have no idea how to get there. We're just going to head off in that general direction. Oh, no, oh, don't want to go there. That was my old ice pit right there. Oh, boy, am I really hitting everything? I can hear it. Okay, let's we'll go down this way. Oh, let's see what happens. We're out here testing. There, how about we try that? The idea here on the scouting trip is to check out over there by the lake, check out a new place to build a flat base, because I would like to build some ships. Well, the first one to get off into outer space is a test. And what I would also like to do is make a nice big one to haul all of the ingots that I've been producing back to the main base. And I've got, right now it's about 3 million iron ingots. Co uh, cobalt, I can't remember, it's still, oh, that's why I can't remember, because it's still producing. Nickel I tapped into, and that is still producing. So uh, it's going to be quite a lot to move, plus it'll give good practice on how to get everything done and learning. Wow, this thing is actually doing pretty good. I'm going to like this. Okay, I'm... Woo! Woohoo! Oh! Oh, that hurt. Okay. Let's check for damage. All right. Oh, well, that held up really nice. I don't see anything there. I've got a few iron plates with me just in case. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? Let's try this. There we go. Parking brake. Well, if anything else happens, 
I will let you guys know. And I'll see you there in our final destination. I'm still listing. Oh. Yeah, I remember I can get swallowed up by those things. Suspension. Another tip they told me to say was to up the power. Let's see what happens at a hundred. Get me out of here. Let's try this. Friction. Let's see if that'll give us something to go with. Uh oh. Oh, oh, come on, baby. Get out of there. No! And there we go. Well, that, uh, that was a nice little quick episode. And there we have it. That is what not to do when you're out testing. Go into the ditch. Love it. Well, I almost made it there. Thank you for joining me on this journey in Space Engineers. And as always, enjoy life and be safe.